Check this out. Snake skin. We got some growing rattlesnakes out here. Oh, that's awesome. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. James from Junkyard Fox here, back at you with another outdoor arena review today. And today's review is going to be on the SOG folding shovel or entrenching tool. Now, before I go ahead and begin talking about the shovel itself, I just want to show you guys that it does come with a uh, nylon sheath. Now, in all honesty, it isn't very high quality. The Velcro here is kind of loose. Um, it's a little thin, but it does its job. It holds the shovel, and it, there is a belt loop here. So in case you want to just put this on your belt, I doubt much people would, but the option is there. And like I said, it does its job. It does hold the shovel. Now here's the shovel. It's all one piece. It's collapsible. Go ahead and turn this. Turn the latch over here. Loosen it up. Then tighten it back up. And you got yourself a shovel. Not only that, but you can loosen this up. And in case you're having trouble, say you're digging in a, a rocky terrain or there's just a lot of roots, you have yourself a small pickaxe. So this shovel itself is about $25, give or take. So you got to look around. Okay, it's made out of a high carbon steel or a carbon steel. I'm not entirely certain. I'll go ahead and just annotate it below the specific structure of it. And then there's a side that is serrated over here on the corner. Okay, 24 and a half ounces. Now, let's go ahead and get to testing. Before I go ahead and do that, just want to verify with you guys, just in all honesty, I don't have a lot of experience with folding shovels. This is actually the very first one I've ever played around with. But I am a devout believer now that this would be very handy, maybe not, a, not to be carrying every day like in your haversack, but to have in your bug out bag or at least your vehicle for emergencies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started testing the SOG folding shovel. So the first test we're gonna go ahead and do is try a Dakota fire hole. Now that's just a basic of all shovel reviews. If it can't do that, then it's really not much of a shovel. And I really don't have a lot of experience making those here. So let's just go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the Dakota fire hole comes in handy when you're trying to keep a low profile. So it may not be very good for keeping warm or signaling, but when you're just, you're just trying to stay a little hidden, you don't want people coming to your camp, whatever the case may be, it's great for cooking and being subtle about it. So far, so good. It's not uncomfortable in my hand. It's not too heavy. Does it kind of work? And of course, you can, you don't necessarily need a shovel to dig a hole, but, you know, it's far more effective than just using your hands or resorting to using a stick or something. Okay, so I'd say that hole is decent. It's deep enough. Okay, let's go ahead and start here to make the second hole. And I... Okay, so the shovel worked very well. Let's try the pickaxe. And I'm softly, slowly, Attempting to bridge the two holes. Okay, bridging the tunnel using the pickaxe. Okay, that's good enough. Right here, that's the basic gist of the Dakota fire hole. So from here, we're gonna let the, the breeze is coming from over here, coming this way. So. Let the air go in here, and we're going to place some tinder on this hole and place our grill. That way we can go ahead and cook up something to eat, some wild edibles out here. So let's go ahead and get that fire going. Okay, we got a tinder bundle. And here's one thing that I do not like about the folding shovel. There is no 90 degree spine to strike a ferro rod. Now it's a shovel, you know, so that's not the main intent 
for this tool, but it would be nice. And I do understand some other companies and their shovels do have a flat surface. It can be easily remedied with the file, but it's not my tool. So I'm not gonna be messing with it too much, but it doesn't strike. Even the, the serrated part might, if you get lucky, but nothing strong. So that's something I don't like about the shovel. They could easily, but you could easily remedy that. So get this fire started. Okay, so we have some yucca fruit out here in the desert. It is still in season. And we're just gonna take a couple of them, about three or four for supper. In case you're interested in this fruit or how to go ahead and process it, uh, I have a video on that pre previously. It's my last video, so go ahead and check that out. And we have four of them, so let's go ahead and take them to the fire and roast them right up. So meantime, our lunch roast, meantime, meantime it cooks, we're coming to another yucca plant, same plant that fed us, and we're gonna dig down for the root so we can go ahead and get some soap out of it, a little bit of some desert hygiene out here. So, let's get to the root. Okay, so we got to part of this root. So we're just gonna use the saw now. We're gonna test it out, and I'm gonna just saw through here to get to the white center of the root and the, that root has saponins which is a compound that makes the soap and this was traditionally done for hundreds of years so if you're out in the desert and you know you're digging and you're just even just standing out here you're going to be sweating you're going to get sand on you this is a good form of hygiene this you can make into soap into shampoo and even laundry detergent. As you can tell, it is making a dent here. Obviously, it's not going to be as effective as a Baco Laplander folding saw or my Swiss Army knife saw, but in a pinch, it doesn't hurt to have. Good enough right there. I'm gonna do it again on this side. There we go. So I got the chunk of the root and just, uh, I'm just thinning out the bark. I'm getting all the hard exterior to get to that soft white root okay now to make the soap I'm just gonna slice a few pieces and throw them into my cup to mix with some water now it would be a little bit more effective if I was to grate these down the thinner the better but for right now just improvised hygiene this will do its job Mix it with a little bit of water. Not too much. And this contains a chemical compound called saponins. So it's a cleaning agent. Do you see the suds? The saponin compounds making that soap. This can be used for shampoo, body soap, or if you have to improvise some laundry detergent, check that out. Now we got ourselves a nice little cozy hill here, surrounded by all this vegetation for some privacy. Now eating yucca fruits, a large amount of yucca fruits like coffee, uh, it's a nat natural laxative. So you're gonna have to be, like any time you're camping, you're gonna have to take a couple trips. So I'm gonna make a small latrine, similar to a cat. You uh, do your business and then you bury it. Okay, now most people, you know, they might question why I would have to make such a deep hole for poop. 
well, just to put it bluntly. But when you think about it, especially if you're going to be camping, staying in the same area for a couple of days, you don't want to make it a shallow little grave where it's easily dug up by animals. Animals are curious, and they're going to smell your stuff, and they're going to come and just dig it up, and then flies are going to be landing on it later. You don't want those same flies that are landing on your stuff, your waste, to then the next day be landing on your breakfast. That's a recipe for disaster. You might get sick out here. So you do want to make it pretty deep just to make it a little bit more difficult for it to dug up. And uh, that's just playing it safe. That's pretty good. A good foot and a half. Not to take it for a test drive. Gonna need some privacy. Well guys, that just about concludes the testing for the SOG folding shovel. As you saw, I tested the digging abilities and the pickaxe on making this Dakota fire hole. And as you can tell, it is working beautifully. Helped us cook our lunch. Some yuccas out here, still in season. Uh, we also went ahead and used the serrations to dig up some yucca root for some improvised desert hygiene. Now it didn't, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be replacing your folding saw anytime soon. It isn't optimal for doing that. It's not optimal for doing that, but it worked in a pinch. So that definitely comes in handy for whatever emergencies you may encounter. And then it helped us dig a latrine for a little bit of privacy. Everybody poops, especially you're out here in the wild. You don't have any plumbing. You don't have a restroom. You're going to have to just, uh, you know, take care of it outside. So it helped us out with the, those three things. So it helped us out for some camping stuff. Uh, a folding shovel is very underrated. Well, you know, it's not as fun as axes and knives and stuff, but it uh, definitely has a million uses, especially for me. I live in very loose sand country where I've gotten my truck stuck several times. This can definitely help you out with that. Well, guys, go ahead and put on the comments what other uses can we use for the shovel. Think about war times, you know, things like that. So with this, this is the last review for this shovel in the outdoor arena, the fifth review, and we're officially just going to go ahead and end the reviews on it. So feel free to check out the past reviews. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. So if you guys like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to keep up with my adventures. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Go outside and get your boots dirty.